What's up guys, this is a quick video on the Vixseed automatic wireless phone car charger. So right guys, I've actually bought this from Amazon and I paid £24.21 £21 for it. And what I'll do is I'll leave a link in the description below just in case if you need any more information or if you want to actually buy one. So right guys, I'm going to open it up straight away and we'll have a look at it. So before I start, I'll just tell you I really like this product by the way. So this is the wireless automatic car charger for your phone so I'll let you have a quick look at it so it's got feels like it's got a silicone pad at the back here and it's got silicone pads on the sides and it's got some on the feet as well so that's the back of it it's got a few cooling vents at the back this is where it actually connects up to the suction cup but I'll show you later so right, what can I tell you about it? So like I said, this is wireless and it does automatically open and close as well. Um, before I show you that, it's got some legs at the bottom as well. Like I said before, you can adjust them. And to adjust them, you just simply pull them down to the size what you need for your phone. So they've left a gap there so you can connect anything to your phone as well. If you need to connect anything up to it, you won't want to charge it up because there'd be no point. Maybe you want to connect your headphones to it or something. So that option's there for you. So right, um, if it's made out of plastic and it feels really well built and it feels solid. So right, I've pressed the buttons on the side here. If you press the buttons on the side here, it opens the, the holder up. And uh, it's got a sensor pad at the back here. So as soon as you sit your phone on the back of here, it automatically shuts and holds your phone. It will open up, but it won't shut up unless it's got um, some power to it. So the power supply is there at the bottom here. So you're going to connect the, this is the power port, sorry. So I'm just going to connect this power bank to it. I'm just going to turn the power bank on. So as you can see, it's gone red at the bottom. So when it's not charging, it'll be red. And then when it is charging, it'll go blue. So right, um, I can't really show you because I'm using my phone at the moment to tape this. So, but trust me, it does work. When it's on, on the sensor pad, it will go blue and it'll start charging. But yeah, as soon as you place your phone on here, there is a sensor pad here, which automatically shuts it. So it grips your phone. And I really like that feature, by the way. And like I said, this is uh, it doesn't feel flimsy or anything. It does feel really well built. And like I said, you can press on the sides here it'll open it up again when you want to take your phone back out and like i said there's a pad there where it shuts it the other side does the same thing as well so that's really good i'm um, trying to think what else can i tell you about it that's about everything on it um i will show you how to connect it up from the back when i get the other stuff out of the box other than that that's pretty much it with this. So I'm just going to take the power lead off for the time being. So next in the box we've got the the vent holder. So you can connect this to your air vent and slot this onto the back of it. Which I'll show you how to connect up in a minute. So this one's just got a thing on it where you push it down and it locks into place. So it seems to be a lot tighter on this side. When you flip it to the other side, it's not as tight. So you've got a choice of where to set it. So right, this uh, ball joint at the back, that's what connects up at the back of here. So to connect it up, it's gonna be the same principle as this suction cup as well. So you unscrew this plastic nut. And uh, what you'll do is, you'll put this on this side here. And then, you will put the ball fin on the back of it and you just push it down and lock it into place. 
and then simply tighten up the plastic knot in them. And that locks it into place. It's a pretty good idea actually. Right, um, after that I'll show you what else we get in the box. I'll just take this off quickly. So we've got a little uh, user manual in there as well. And then after that we've got the suction cup. How do we get this out? So right, we've got the suction cup itself and this is made out of solid plastic and this feels really well built as well. I really like this. It feels a bit more quality. Right, to adjust this, you just simply loosen it from here. And that will let you rotate it up and down to wherever you want. And then if you loosen this one at the top, and that will let you extend the arm. So you can adjust it and set it to wherever you want. Then after the, underneath there, we've got this suction cup underneath here. And this is extremely sticky as well. And the same principle here, when you stick it down, you'll clean the surface of any dust with a wet cloth and then you'll dry it with a dry cloth and then you'll stick this down. And then what you'll do is, while you're pushing down, you'll push this clip down here and that will lock it into place. To take it off, you'll do the same thing, you'll clip this up. And then to help you, they've given you this little tab here, plastic tab, and you'll pull this up to help you pull it up. Basically this tab here. And it is extremely sticky, you will need that. But other than that, this feels uh, really well built. And I, and I think it's pretty good. So that's the suction cup. And then finally, we've got the charging lead for it. So right guys, that's everything we get inside the box and uh, I don't think there's much else I can tell you about it apart from I'm well impressed with the phone holder, the wireless phone holder. I do like the feature where it opens and closes up. And I like the uh, blue and red light on the legs, the way it illuminates to tell you if it's charging or not. But yeah, um, I really like that. So right guys, I hope this helps somebody out who's uh, thinking about buying one. And um, thanks for watching guys. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Bye.